area students let us see what is there in this question a moon of mass m orbits a planet of mass 100 m the radius of the planet is r and the distance between the center of the planet and the moon is 22 r <clears throat> the radius of the planet is given that will not be required i believe anyways what is the distance from the center of the planet at which the gravitational potential has a maximum value? So my dear students, uh, this is a very, very popular question. It has been asked many times by IB. And uh, let me tell you, um, in this, in this uh, space, what is happening is, this is, let us say the planet is Earth and we are talking about the moon. So Earth is having a gravitational field and each and every point there is an attractive force towards Earth. And the moon is also uh, a, a powerful uh, astronomical body. So what it is doing is it is also applying this force towards the right hand side. So moon is attracting towards right hand side and Earth is attracting towards the left hand side. Some points the Earth's force will be more than the moon's force. And at some points the moon's force will be more than the Earth's one. But there will be a point a very specific point, this is really very important point, a very specific point in space where these two forces become equal to each other and so the F net becomes equal to zero. Hence this position is the most stable position. Most stable position, even a satellite can be give, uh, can reach at this point and it can, it can remain at this point just hanging around like this neither going towards the earth nor going towards moon even that is possible as the moon keeps on changing position the satellite will also move along uh, this thing so it's a very good uh, position very important position anyways so this is that position they're talking about now the question is about the gravitational potential so it means that this point we have to just assume that this distance is x this will be 22 r minus x we would be finding v1 we would be finding v2 we will add them and then we will create a function in the terms of x. So according to the principle in maths AAHL, we are going to differentiate that function with respect to x. We will equate it with, with 0 and then we will try to find the value of x. That is the proper method of doing the question. But that's a really long method. So we are physicists. We are not going to do that. You see. The point, this point we're talking about, see, the gravitational potential is always negative. Try to understand the earth is having a negative potential and moon is also having a negative potential. So maximum value means minimum potential. Minimum potential means most stable. And most stable means the F net is equal to zero. Clearly, we are going to equate the gravitational pulls, the gravitational forces created by Earth and the Moon. So let us go for it. So the force because of the Earth will be G and the mass is 100 M into the small m of the satellite. Although if you are not interested in that, you can skip it because we can talk in the terms of gravitational field strength. So we can get rid of M also. But anyways, so the distance is taken to be X. And the force due to moon will be G. <clears throat> the masses are like this. We are just quickly going to solve this equation to find the value of X. So we are equating them now. GMM, GMM will get cancelled out. Now, clearly, you can take a very beautiful square root here and the equation will become 10 divided by x, 22r minus x. Simple algebra, you should not be having any problem with this. Clearly, the answer that we get is C. This is how we do this and this is the quickest possible method in which we have to solve it. We are not going to find any gravitational potential. Mind it, students, this is a very important question. And let me show you the answer given in the mark scheme. Is it C or not? 
Well, yes, the answer clearly 